Welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build the Flying Scotsman in Minecraft. And this is the world's most famous engine, and it's a steam engine, and uh, it's a class A3, its number is 4472, and uh, it's from the London and North Eastern Railway, which is L-N-E-R, and uh, it got some world records like the longest non-stop, uh, for a while for the steam engines and also it was the first to reach like 100 miles per hour and uh, I know <laughs> it's a really famous engine yeah, this was this uh, build was commissioned by uh, the secret German uh, you can commission builds on my Cellify store for two dollars and I'll build any train that you want in Minecraft and uh, link in the description for that but anyways guys let's get started on this build so first off, let's add uh, red wool, uh, two blocks above the tracks, uh, make it three blocks wide. Then the middle, let's add a lever going down. And on the sides of that, let's add some pistons, like so. And more levers on the bottom, just to pull out the pistons. So now that we have uh, <laughs> the buffers, uh, let's make the floor. So we're going to add a uh, three wide uh, gray wool like this and we're going to make it 18 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And uh, we're going to go all the way back. Then we're going to do this side. All right, so after we do that, we're gonna add a uh, stone brick stairs on the sides at the very back. And this is where we're gonna connect to the tender. And in the middle, let's add gray wool and gray wool again, three, cross. And we're gonna make the tender uh, 10 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then we're gonna add red wool to the back and add the rear buffers then add the actually we don't do we need this <laughs> now I'm kinda questioning this but whatever I'll just put a regular coupling and let's add some levers under here so that we can drag it out again now let's fill in the rest of the back tender you know sometimes the uh, flying Scotsman they can have two tenders but from most of the pictures I see him, he only has one. Anyways, let's add this uh, little ladder right there near the front. So we're going to add another brick stairs upside down, followed by another brick slab underneath that. And let's do that same thing on the other side. This is actually the last detail that I put into this. It was like a last minute thing. Alright, then we're going to add two black wool right here for the piston and uh, let's see on the bottom we're gonna add a uh, hopper for the small wheels in the front should add one here then on the sides let's add a stone brick slab just add two like that right after the hopper on each side then another hopper okay then after that let's add a wooden trap door right underneath this uh, black wall area okay so once we're done with that let's add a uh, black wall right here on that one and uh, let's let's add the other wheel so looks like there's <laughs> it's like right next to each other oh no well they're all like that I have to kind of like squish them all together for this flying Scotsman. So let's just add a uh, gray wool like that. And on the sides here, we want to add the curves for the wheels. And we're just making the bottom of the wheel. I don't think we have to do the top since that's going to be covered. So basically, we're going to do the same thing uh, two more times on both sides. So like right here and another one right here trying to do them both and just add the stone brick stairs kind 
Okay, so after we do that, let's add a stone slab. Just add two of them right here. Make one go up and make this three. Go diagonal a bit and let's get a iron trap door. Just add one underneath here and then two of them like that. Actually, this actually goes to the back wheel. So like right over here and one trapdoor like that. So this is the piston rod design that I came up with. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Hopefully you can just remember what we did. Looks like this, so. Just add one here and then the bottom one, it just starts with the trapdoor and then the slabs go to the back wheel and a trapdoor here as well to make it more smoothened out and more detailed alright so that's the pistons and uh, next we're gonna add some more slabs just add two more each side and then a hopper two hoppers actually and right here on the side let's add a ladder on uh, both the main locomotive and the tender so like this should add two ladders on each side and underneath that we're gonna add uh, <laughs> the nether brick slab so it's like the same ladder design as the front over there all right cool and then we want to have this thing right here which are just uh, two stairs facing uh, the other direction from the other one so it looks like it's uh, making a triangle downwards like this attaching to the wheel and we're also going to do the same thing on the back after we add the wheel so we we'll skip one from here and add a hopper and how many hoppers it's like eight in total so on each side of course so one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, then let's add our st our stairs. And do the same thing. Just trying to make these four triangles so that lo they look like they're attached together. And you can see all the wheels are all crammed together. Alright, so after we do that, let's take a slab, another brick slab, just fill in this gap here. Let's go to front of this, add two more. One, two. One, two. Then let's go towards the back and let's add this part. So we're going to take black wool, uh, make it four blocks or three, three blocks three blocks tall and have a corridor right here and on top of that let's add stone brick stairs so it should look like this and I believe they can attach another uh, tender to this so that's why they have this I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's why but I'm not super a hundred percent positive alright so after that let's add green wool Alright, this is green. From all the way here, all the way around. So, should make this green wall. <laughs> I already just messed up here. So, let me fix that real quick. And just go around. Wait, does this? Oh, okay, so it does connect. Alright, so once we have our green wall. Uh, then let's add some more detail to the front so we're gonna add another brick slab like right here alongside the middle and behind that we're gonna add another brick stairs like this and after that it should be a three by three of black wool and let's I think we should make a cross like a plus sign 
and make it three blocks long so it looks like this then on the edges let's add the nether brick stairs same thing on this side then on top we're gonna add uh, <laughs> I forgot the name. They're, they had a name like Smoke Hole or something. Anyways, this is the one with the two of them on top, so that's why it's extra wide, not like that. I think the original looks like that, but the modern one looks like this. Anyways, uh, we're gonna add some smoke deflectors. I actually learned what it was called. And they say it was pretty common on German engines, but it, it's uh, British, I believe. Okay, so we're gonna add a uh, black wall, two of them like that, and then let's add the smoke deflectors with the nether brick uh, stairs on the sides like that. Okay, do the same thing on the other side, so just add two black wall down here, then the rest is just uh, nether brick stairs. Then we're gonna add nether brick slab right here. So the remaining two, we're going to add that on the side. So it should look like this, and there's like a slight slope right there. All right, so after we do that, let's take uh, some more green wool and add that to the middle three. Or you can just skip the middle one and just add uh, two, two columns like that. And right on top of the column, we're going to add uh, stone brick stairs. And we're gonna leave this one alone. I uh, just leave that one gap, and that's where we're gonna add. Uh, just we could add just this. Like this is gonna be a slope kind of. So that's why we just left it alone, or maybe not. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, never mind. All right. So once we do that, let's add uh, green wool on top of that, and then the middle part, green wool. Well, I tried lime wool and not lime wool, um, lime hardened clay, but that doesn't look that good and it's not accurate as this one. Even though it's dark, it's supposed to be dark actually. So I just added uh, more of the curves, and on top, we're gonna add this little uh, almost it's not the dome, but something somewhat like a dome. And that's gonna be starting adjacent to uh, that trap door so just go above that trap door go up yeah right there that's why we started make it two blocks wide of stone brick slab and then go on the side here add a two by two green wool right there and then add actually make it a two by three so it looks like that and then fill in the middle bit with the green wool and the sides just continue this curve with the stone brick uh, stairs and then we're gonna add a uh, small detail <coughs> sorry uh, some stone buttons two of them on top like that and then go down two of them on the side alright next let's add uh, yellow wool just add two of them like that, two of them like that, and around it we're going to add some more green wool, like so, and then we're going to add three green wool right here, then yellow wool, then green wool, then yellow wool, then green wool, then yellow wool, oh no I'm lagging right now. <laughs> And then yellow wool, then green wool again, then yellow wool, then green wool. <laughs> Sorry I tortured you right there, but I don't really care. Alright, next let's add some more green wool to the back right on top of this piston. Make it three blocks tall, like that. And then for this layer, we're going to add a stone brick slab right here at the separation. And the rest, it should just be uh, green wool, so just fill that in. 
pretty nice. Alright, so after we filled that in, let's take black wool and make a wall right here. And just go all the way up. Well, we're just gonna poke one block out like that. And then we're gonna add another wall in the back. Oh, we already kind of had that. God damn it. And then after that, we're going to add a uh, two by three near the back like that. And then another black wool wall that's going to poke out like that. And then on the sides, we're going to add nether brick uh, slabs right here. It's going to start on this wall and just go all the way to the back of the tender. Then we can fill this part in with coal. So I got my block of coal and we're just going to fill it in like so and it's going to stick out a little bit which is good. Got a lot of coal for a good journey and this is a long distance train I believe. Alright so after that let's add the windows so we're going to take uh, black stained glass, gla black stained glass pane, just add black stained glass right here. Then behind it a pane just right above the yellow and then we're gonna add green wool right here and then on top of that we're gonna add uh, black carpet and actually let's get another brick slab just add a little ex extension right there then on the sides we can add black carpet like so and after that let's add another brick slabs on top so right there we want to have that and make sure it extends all the way over there all right and then we're gonna be left with a hole so we can just fill in fill in that with uh, green wool so let me try to get inside the cab fill that in and if you want you can just do this whole thing and make some kind of firebox here but I don't really do interior so we're just gonna leave that alone and after that, um, let's go to the bottom. And oh yeah, right over here. So next thing we're gonna do is add another brick slab right here. Then we're gonna take another brick stairs like that and a uh, green wall and then another brick stairs. So it's like a curve right above this wheel. And we're going to repeat that for all of the driving wheels. So like this. And you'll notice that it slightly goes under this curve here. And that's supposed to be it. Alright, so let's do this side. We could add a slab. Then stairs. Wait, I'm in. Alright, the slab goes down here. So then we're going to add a slab. And then stairs. The lime wool, you know, just not. <laughs> Alright, so then we're gonna add a slab and then another brick stairs and just do the same thing, you know. Just the uh, uh, curves above, <laughs> I mean, the covers above uh, the wheels for the driving ones. Alright, so after we do that, what else can we do to fix this up? All right, so after that, let's add lights in the front. So we're gonna take a quartz slab and just add that right here. Bam, and bam, and then we're gonna take a black carpet, just add that in the middle, like that. And then uh, we're gonna take some more slabs and just add that on top like this. Do the same thing on the side and in the middle over there and that should make it look nicer like a little bump and after we do that uh, we're going to add a sign right here 
and I guess you can write the Flying Scotsman or whatever. I'm not sure if it actually says this, but there is a sign. The Flying Scotsman. No, I spelled that wrong. We need an S in there. Scotsman. The Flying Scotsman. Alright, so. Basically, that's how you build the Flying Scotsman in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please subscribe and like this video down below. Uh, if you want to do uh, commissions, just check out myselfi.com. I do them for $2. And anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye.